Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to take an SQLite database and export it as an Excel file and then take that Excel file and import it into Access. So we're going to open up our SQLite manager and I'm working on the same database I was. Okay, so this is the table I want to export. Okay, it's um, my computer books table in my book wish list database. So the first thing you do is go up here to View, Export View. It opens up this Export Wizard tab, but you see our the name of the view, we have no values in our drop-down menu. So we're going to populate that by right-clicking on the table and saying Export Table, and it populates that drop-down box with the list of all the tables that are available to export. So we want to export the computer books table, we're going to say that the first row does contain our column names. Since we want to export an Excel file, we are going to tell it that the fields are separated by tabs, and we can choose none down here for the fields are enclosed by quotes or double quotes. And we are going to say OK, change the file extension to XLS, and we're going to save it and it did export eight records. Okay, so now we're going to go to Excel and we're going to say File, Open, and we are going into my checking directory and, in, and open up our computer books Excel file. Just say yes to that. And we can go through this, we can tell it it's delimited, we can check all our values if we like here. It's uh, delimited by tabs, okay? And now I'm gonna show you where we have an issue right here. This, I'll show you in a second here. Okay, uh, let me get to where I can, there. Um, well, let me, okay. This one value turned into a scientific notation value and if you go back into SQL manager and look at the value I did not put tabs in there so I'm going to have to change that manually so just so you um, be careful how you do your data entry <laughs> make it consistent right so now we have it and I'm going to change this um, first I'm going to format cells and make it a number, no decimal places. And then I'm going to go in and put my tab, my dashes in, so I don't get messed up when I'm going into access. Okay, that's good. Control S to save. And yes, we want to say yes there. Okay, now we're going to go into access and go to the external da data tab, Excel. We're going to browse to our file in our checking fold directory. There's our file. And we want to import the source data into a new table into the current database. Now you can um, link to the data source. <clears throat> However, the, da the source data, the data you already um, have and will be importing will not be able to be edited with an access. So to me it just makes sense to import the source data. Okay? So you say okay. Our first row contains our column headings and we can go through here and check and have everything going right. Okay. So we can go to next. You can go through here and change your data types. However, I'm going to leave all minus text. Okay. We can go to next. We do not want a primary key because we will get duplicate ID columns. So if you choose no primary key, then we already we already have our ID and that can uh, act as our primary key and our table is going to be named the same and hit finish. And you can save your import steps. If I had the other tables in my SQLite database populated, I would save the import steps so that I could 
do this for them, but I don't. So, and we can open up our computer books and see table and see that it imported everything just fine. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.